back with another video. We finally got some parts in that we've been waiting for for a long time for the tow pig. I'm um, really excited to kind of see some change in this truck. It's been kind of the same since I bought it about six months ago and she does deserve some love. Um, and we might be putting some more uh, goodies on it because I mean this thing is kind of the heart of the company. I mean it pulls all our trailers, it takes all the show trucks to all the shows. So we got to really show her some love, put some new parts on her. Um, the lift kit that we did get in, we've had on order for quite a while. We did some custom milling on the lift and stuff like that. Uh, the boys over at Striker killed it. Um, they always do, and they do majority of our suspension, but let's take a look at it. All right, so if you're kind of new to the channel, this is my 2020 Mega Cab um, that is our tow pig. Uh, she pulls the 40 foot gooseneck with both the show trucks on there and is about to pull the 44 foot gooseneck that we ordered. Now the 44 that we ordered is white and it has a lot of custom stuff. It's got our name cut out of the gussets and stuff like that. Um, we'll go over that in a whole video once the trailer's done. Hoping to see the trailer within the next month though. Um, our next show is Showdown in the Valley. I'm not sure if we'll have the trailer by then. I hope we do. It's about two weeks away the show is. So uh, the tow pig. Right now the current suspension setup is 2614s and 37s for the wheels and tires in the front. We're running a super single in the front, obviously. And then uh, just 26s and 37s in the rear. Um, and I think we might have one shim in between the rear wheels. But it's a six inch ready lift kit. We have already upgraded it to the striker coolover conversion. Uh, the best thing you can ever do to a lifted ram. If you have a lifted ram uh, that's like six inches or above, the best thing you can ever do is put coolovers on it because you think they ride okay now, um, I thought mine rode like crap, um, to be honest, but we went to the cool over conversion and like it was intolerable to drive that truck and now it's so much better. So much better. It's worth every dime for the cool over conversion. Now the cool over conversion will run you about four grand, but it's worth every penny. So I'm kind of going to go, I'm going to go over the whole truck for the people that are kind of newer to the channel. Um, it's just, it's a limited, it's color matched, uh, built headlights, uh, painted all the mirrors, the cab lights are color matched. Um, we've still got some more paintwork that could happen on this thing, but it just kind of stays on the interstate and pulling trailers. So we don't really want to go to the extent that we have on the rest of the trucks. Um, if anything, we need to repaint everything on the front and then PPF the front of the truck um, with that paint protective film really helps as far as rock chips and stuff like that. But overall, I mean, she's in pretty good shape, but these big wheels and tires, they will make rock chips. So um yeah so we got this tracker cool over conversion already six inch ready lift with a radius arm drop i mean this is a fairly cheap lift kit that was already on this truck when i bought it um so what we're going to do basically is this thing is already lifted um we just basically bought the center of the lift from striker so uh, it's not like katie's where we had to buy everything um we're basically just buying the four link kit the cradle and the traction bars because this thing is already lifted so uh, we're going to go in here and unbox it, but take a look at the teal truck too, guys. We got two new tires on this unit, some freshies, still got stickers on them too. Um, some fresh tires, and she is back and ripping. We ripped her all weekend at Rod Run. Um, not really, we weren't really hard on it, but I mean, I, I did beat on it occasionally and she held up. So, um, love this truck. Love it, love it, love it. I'm thinking about putting an anteater on it. That way it's a little bit more tolerable to drive with the full manual valve body. Um, it's not awful, but I'm a big convenience person. Like I like to be able to, you know, do stuff and not just have to sit here. That's, that's why I sold all my manual trucks is because I get tired of driving them. But let's go inside and get this lift kit unboxed. I've already unloaded it out of the back of the daily. Um, that's another truck that also needs some love, guys. That thing is seeing some miles, so I kind of hate to put a bunch of money into it. All right, so we have the entire kit here, still packaged up. We're gonna be unboxing it, going over everything that we've got. Um, one thing I will give Striker is they have superior packaging. This is gonna take me forever to unwrap because they, not only do they wrap it in cardboard, I'm pretty sure there's a, like a packing paper around the bars too. So it's gonna take me a minute to unbox this, but we'll get through it.
right guys, so that took way longer than it should have. Um, like I said, their packaging is superb. Um, really kind of, <laughs> I'm ashamed of how out of breath I got unpacking this look kit, but um, it looks amazing guys. There's, there's no one in the Ram world um, as far as like bolt-on kits or box kits that really compares to Striker. Now I'm gonna show y'all like what I mean by the quality standards and like what was different about our kit. Um, so this is a gloss white kit. We did order it with our logo on the four link and the traction bars. Striker usually keeps their logo on the cradle and the front four link bar um, or the front four link bracket. But um, just look at it. So this is a steel four link arm with a heim joint and then it has a billet faceplate, um, and we actually ordered these. Normally they would be in black and milled or polished. Um, that truck's getting polished. Um, and then I think uh, Katie's truck, we did black and milled faceplates. But we got our logo in it. It's got the milling. Um, just, just really, really cool, because we're kind of going with the white and milled stuff. Um, I think a lot of people do black and milled, and white's kind of our thing, so we wanted to start doing white and milled on as much as we can, including wheels and stuff like that for our trucks. But, superb lift kit. Um, like I said, guys, I only ordered the center of the kit. Like, we didn't need anything to do with springs. Those springs are for a different truck, so don't think those are it. Um, and then the truck is already lifted, so we really didn't need that much stuff. But, all of it looks great. Um, huge shout out to Kyle on this one. Got the new center cradle. Um, we had never had one of these, and then somehow we ended up uh, installing three of them in two weeks. So, um, gonna try and get all our trucks converted to the cradle stuff um, if the lift stays on the single cab it will get the cradle um, the cradle kind of came out after and we might have to order a custom cradle for the single cab because as you can see um, there's nothing there and the single cab has quite a bit shorter of a wheelbase so the cradle will not work this one will not work in, in my opinion it's it's way too long for the bend of the frame Another thing I want y'all's opinions on, um, we're thinking about changing the single cab up for this next year. Uh, the single cab has kind of been the same for about a year and a half now for the show world. Um, she's been to every show on this side of the country. She's kind of she's kind of made her revolution, but I think she needs to stay in the fleet. So what do you think we should do suspension wise? The bags are cool and stuff, but they, they haven't exactly been non-problematic. So I uh, thought about getting rid of the bags. Let me know what y'all think. I think the bags is part of the coolest part of the single cab. The fact that it can go, you know, up, down, side to side. Maybe we should take the sway bars back off of it um, where when we come to shows, we can lay this thing sideways for y'all again. Um, but thinking about changing the wheel and tire setup, you know, going a little bigger on the single cab not really sure what our plan is entirely yet so let me know what y'all think we should do i would like to see this thing go a little bit higher um and then maybe take these 26s and 35s off of this truck and do 28s and 38s get a little bit more rubber under the truck um over the winter and then i've got an idea for these wheels and tires on where they could go uh just, that's your hint um so what do y'all say do we take the suspension off of this one because it is getting redone this winter do we take the suspension off of this one, put it on the daily? Do we leave the single cap how she is, or do we make her better? So um, this is the four link kit that is gonna be on the dually though. So this is exactly what it's gonna look like besides the face plates are a little bit different. What you will do is your cradle kind of bolts up on the frame right behind this. And then obviously it's not a rear four link truck like 2500s are, so it'll just have a traction bar. But Excited to see that build come together and to see some progress on it. Uh, it will probably be a couple weeks before we see this kit go on the dually though. Um, we've got Wyatt Close's F450 we got to finish up. Uh, we've been slowly pecking away at that thing as we can. Um, just, it's just me and Bubba though. So we're doing what we can. Um, this thing's looking good so far, but again, the 450 is not something we are gonna rush because I want that thing to be spot on. We have some steering stuff coming in for it. Um, so before y'all get at us for it's taking forever, there is still parts that aren't here. So keep that in mind. But we are working on it. Um, I will have the progress update on that truck in a different video. And then we have got Lucas Miller's truck that we are gonna get wrapped up. Gotta get some projects out of here, guys. We got two more projects in the back 
and then we probably won't be able to make progress on our own personal builds for a while. There's so much customer stuff, but uh, I might come in on the weekends and knock out some work, but appreciate y'all for watching the video. I will keep you updated and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.